Around Greater Cleveland, themed schools exist for the arts, STEM programs, and medicine. But did you know there's a school that prepares students to go out to sea or onto the Great Lakes? Elizabeth Miller of Great Lakes Today takes us to an Ohio school where students learn skills that may help them become engineers, seamen, and marine biologists. At the Maritime Academy of Toledo, students learn basics like math and English. They also take classes like nautical skills and boat building at the school, which runs from 5th through 12th grade. All the students, 5th uh, through 9th grade, are required to take a nautical traditions class or uh, the 9th grade is maritime skills. And it helps uh, teach them the rank structure, the code of conduct, the different nautical terms, um, a lot about the history of the area, the Great Lakes, or the history of the Navy. Um, so all the students take that class in order to learn the basics of the, you know, the maritime school and the industry. So you start in fifth grade and that's like an intro to the Maritime Academy with the rank structure. And then by the time you get to ninth grade, you're learning a lot about different ropes, you know, the knot tying and different lines. You learn a lot about the different types of vessels that there are. The Toledo Public Charter School is one of 56 schools around the country that incorporate maritime or marine themes. Maritime focuses on the operation, repair, and maintenance of ships and boats, and a marine theme means oceanography and biology. The students, or cadets as they're called, participate in a daily ritual similar to the U.S. Navy color ceremony. The building, it's shaped like a ship. It's considered a, a training ship and dry dock. So we use a lot of nautical terms here, like the cafeteria is a galley, the front desk is a helm. And so we like to use those terms, uh, you know, to incorporate that further into the daily lessons. The founders opened the school in 2006 with the idea of letting inner city kids experience a lake or river that may be in their backyard, but one they've never learned about which is really cool just to be able to go on the water. I've never been on the water before until I've been here. A lot of our students do live by the lake, but they don't understand the, the ramifications of Lake Erie. For example, the water crisis that happened two years ago, that was the foundation and the origins of the Marine Environmental Science CTE program. And so a lot of the students are learning more about their drinking water, for example. After they graduate, students go to the military, college, or straight into a job. Others work on ships or go on to higher education at a maritime college. The school's Career Tech Education, or CTE, program prepares students for jobs in environmental science, hospitality, navigation, and engineering. In class, students learn how to operate a ship using a simulator. The hands-on learning in classes like boat building can be used in traditional classes too. In general, we can incorporate the theme into a lot of our um, classes themselves. Like if I'm teaching math, I can talk about the speed of a boat and how long it takes the distance to be traveled. And so we can relate it to the fact of what we're teaching on the standards we're teaching. And so the kids get more of a real life application and that helps them understand the ideas a little bit more concretely. The school is growing every day. New students come to the Maritime Academy not just for a unique learning experience, but for one-on-one -on -one attention from teachers. Uh, I started actually uh, the second semester of my junior year, so last year. My brother and my sister have gone here. My sister's been here since she was in fifth grade. My brother since he was in sixth, but I just started last year because I wasn't doing so good. And I was like, I think it's time for a change. And I know they were doing good, so I uh, chose I chose to King Hand. Uh, the teachers actually help us a lot. I went to a TPS school, so there was not more, it's more one-on-one -on -one here than over there. So, um, like if you don't understand something, they'll uh, help you or they'll, like, they'll explain it more. But students at the school still struggle academically. It lags behind Toledo Public Schools in graduation rates, according to state data released in September and both received an F in achievement, the number of students who passed state tests. Principal Lusk hopes to change that. We have a lot of uh, activities in place, but we also started a new uh, policy this year where no students were allowed to get below a C. And so if a student gets a D or an F, they're going to be on academic probation. Lusk looks forward to next year's state report card, which he says will show improvement. 
the idea of it is not every student's going to go into the maritime industry, but every student will learn the traits that they need to be successful in any career or college because they learn discipline, they learn attention to detail, accountability. After just a few months at the school, Maricela Morales is thinking about going into the Navy. I've never learned anything about boats. I just went to regular schools, I guess. It's pretty cool, though, to get to learn about something different than just what every other school is teaching about. This story comes to us as part of Great Lakes Today, a reporting collaboration of WBFO Buffalo, IdeaStream Cleveland, and WXXI Rochester.